Star Wars 7x7 episode 2797. Welcome to March 2022. It's March 1st and as we tend to do on these first of the month days, we're going to talk about what we have to look forward to in Star Wars storytelling for the month. Punch it! <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So we'll start as we usually do with movies and there's been good news on the movie front as we've been saying over the past few months that there's been no indication from Disney itself that the date of Rogue Squadron was changing. Well, now we have an updated calendar. Disney updated their release calendar as of February 25th. And guess what? Rogue Squadron is exactly where it's been all along in December of 2023. So we are still on track for a release of the movie. And so we will do what we've been doing in previous episodes, which is looking back at the art of the force awakens and comparing the timeline so in march of 2014 which would be the correlation to where we are right now one of the main things that happened in that month during the production of the force awakens was the final approved and locked design for the big bad villain kylo ren they had also started considering what they had in concept art and paintings and whatnot for the interior of Maz Kanata's castle as their prototype for the set. They were working on the castle ruins set, considering what that might look like, some additional ship designs. They were also making refinements to Han Solo's costuming, to the resistance base, to the resistance transport that Leia takes to go to Takodana, and also to Starkiller base as well. They're also starting to keep an eye on the calendar in terms of knowing that they were about to go into production and what that would mean. They had the location shoot in Abu Dhabi and they were trying to find like the right place for it within Abu Dhabi. They settled on a location at the edge of a mangrove uh, swamp and that was basically so that you could get a clear view of the horizon, they say in the book, and see that there's absolutely nothing there. It's just desolate and flat as a pancake. The idea being they wanted to convey just how miserable and horrible the space of Jakku was for Rey and you know, give you a sense of her plight. And there's also a reference to one of the toughest sets that they had to build, which was the set for the TIE Fighter crash on Jakku. And the reason why that was particularly tough included the fact that they had to build a nearly 1,000, or dig, I guess I should say, a nearly 1,000 foot long trough that would be the indicator of where the eyeball of the TIE Fighter had skidded through the sand. That one's really shocking to me, actually. I can't believe they wouldn't just do that with CGI. (laughs) It seems like that would have been a lot easier. And as far as announcements go, I'm not necessarily expecting anything in the month of March. For the record, it was in April of 2014 when we got that beautiful cast photo, right? When they were doing the table read for The Force Awakens. So yeah, I'm not necessarily expecting anything this month. If it's going to happen, it'll probably be next month in April because I have a feeling May is going to be all about Kenobi. And so yeah, let's talk live action here. And the Kenobi series, of course, debuting on May 25th, probably not getting anything particularly remarkable about the Kenobi series this month. And we talked about that a little bit recently and how just they didn't release a trailer for the Book of Boba Fett until within two months of the release of the Book of Boba Fett. And so I have a feeling we're probably going to be into early April for the release of a trailer for the Kenobi series. But hey, they could surprise us by do it by the end of the month, which would be fantastic. Certainly March 25th gets us within that two month window so fingers crossed but yeah I think it'll probably be in you know probably the beginning of April meanwhile post-production continues on the Andor series know that it's coming in 22 just don't know when writing on the Ahsoka series as far as we know is still going on we haven't heard anything more about that and writing hopefully is done on the Acolyte series by now because they had a head start on the Ahsoka series and then of course there's the Mandalorian season three, which should be wrapping up production, I would say, fairly soon. And that's what we got and what we know about on the live action front. On the animation front, the Bad Batch is still in production. We don't have a release date for it yet, but now that the Kenobi series is not coming out until May 25th, then the presumption would be that the Bad Batch would not debut until after that series has run its course. So we're talking a July release at the very earliest. 
And then something that's been floating around from the Disney Investor Day that we hadn't heard much about yet is the droid story that was announced back in December of 2020. And rumors were flying a little bit about that when Anthony Daniels posted a photo of himself in a motion capture suit and made it very clear that he was doing that to take on the role of C-3PO again. So people were wondering, well, what could that be about? And a droid story was the one that jumped to folks' minds. So if that is the case, if that's what he was in the mocap suit for, then a droid story is now in production as well. Don't necessarily know how big a production that is, so I don't know if we're looking at 22, but we're probably looking at 23, I would say. And that's what we've got for the animation side of things. On the books front, there's actually nothing exactly new. So Mission to Disaster, which is the junior novel in the High Republic Wave 3 launch from Justina Ireland, it was released as an ebook earlier this year, but the hard copy book comes out today, actually today. And a couple of weeks from now, the script book for Tempest Runner, which was the audio drama from Kevin Scott, that script book is being released on March 15th. And so as a result, no new audiobook situations coming. As far as a short story situation goes, yes, we are getting a new short story. It is going to be a Jango Fett Zam Wessel team up of some kind, and that is arriving in Star Wars Insider Magazine, issue number 209, which I believe also drops on March 15th. And then there's the comic side of things. So the High Republic Wave 3 comics are completing with the release of Eye of the Storm 2 and the High Republic 15, both from Marvel. And then for the regular ongoing titles, Star Wars 21 and 22, Darth Vader 21, Bounty Hunters 21, and Dr. Aphra 19 are coming out. There are also limited series that are ongoing and starting, so Crimson Reign, that's the sequel to War of the Bounty Hunters, issue three is coming out this month. Halcyon Legacy number two, that deals with the Galactic Star Cruiser. And the start of a Han Solo and Chewbacca limited series is happening. It has to do with some job that they are doing for Jabba the Hutt a few years before the events of A New Hope, and Greedo is somehow a part of their crew on this thing, and naturally things are going to go horribly awry, and that's about as much as we know for the time being, although there's apparently a shocking reveal at the end of the first issue, so we'll have to see what the deal is with that. And this also marks the first month in which we will not have a release from IDW, and it looks like that may actually be it for it entirely. So in doing a little research, I saw that there were news reports saying that the license that IDW had had been pulled and given to Dark Horse Comics, and so that's what the whole situation is with that. But I haven't seen an official announcement saying, yep, we're done with IDW and we had a great run with them, but yeah, we're moving on from them or anything like that. It just seems to be you know random gossip and leaks from inside sources and that sort of thing. <laughs> Proof is kind of in the pudding in the sense, I guess, the fact that we aren't getting any IDW comics in the month of March certainly seems to suggest that, yeah, that is what's happened and that Dark Horse is taking over. But no Dark Horse comics are coming out in the month of March that we know about, at least. All right, so we got five categories left, and we'll run through them pretty quickly. VR, I don't think we have anything coming in the month of March. I expect we'll probably hear something by the end of April about a new VR project. As for video games, there's a thing about the Old Republic and about a big expansion that just got a new beautiful trailer that was released last month. And, you know, that stuff is still, like, you know, exciting and enjoyable, apparently, but also considered legends. So, you know, maybe we'll explore it a little bit at another time, but it's not necessarily on the priority list of coverage here. On the merchandising front, there's not necessarily a heck of a lot except related to something that's happening on the live event slash experiential side of things, which I'll get to in a moment. On the streaming side of things, the only thing that I'm necessarily expecting to see this month is perhaps a you know, surprise drop about a behind the scenes Book of Boba Fett type of special to be loaded to Disney+. Plus. There hasn't been anything announced in that regard, but they have done it with you know the Disney Gallery series for the Mandalorian with a whole series for season one and then just, you know, a much shorter thing for season two. And they even did then a special episode about the final <laughs> episode with the big Luke Skywalker reveal. So I feel like it makes a lot of sense for them to do at least one Disney gallery episode about the Book of Boba Fett. So yeah, that's kind of something I'm expecting to hear about this month. 
And finally, on the live experience front, so the month of February went by without much in the way of announcements about Star Wars Celebration. They posted a fun little Valentine's Day thing, but that was it. As far as any other you know, events and applications and that sort of thing happening. Like there hasn't been anything about it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing something about it because it does seem like <laughs> all the engines are in motion for, yes, let's do a big in-person event <laughs> in terms of, you know, the whole COVID pandemic thing. Like it doesn't seem like anyone is slowing that train down right now. So yeah, um, it seems like they got to announce something new in March. Just don't know what it is or when it's coming. Maybe some people hosting stages, maybe some featured guests. Yeah, it would be the time to start trickling out that kind of news. And then finally, the Galactic Star Cruiser experience at Walt Disney World in Florida is officially open to the public, although I guess, you know, it's already booked solid, so we, <laughs> it's open to the people who booked for it. And reviews are starting to come in from the complimentary press event situation they had where, whole, you know, they brought a whole bunch of folks in to try it out. And I'll be checking those out to see, you know, what we can learn. And, you know, we'll probably look at it from the perspective of here, what the reviews are. And, you know, we may dig into spoilery stuff if people are posting spoilery stuff, but of course with fair warnings and all that sort of thing. But yeah, that's probably the biggest news for Disney for themselves is that, yes, they've actually launched this thing and good for them it is out in the world now for everybody to enjoy and test out and live their best <laughs> Star Wars lives basically but as I said we will dig into all of that stuff here on the show collect it all in one place and see just what up with that <laughs> basically and we'll also talk about any news that's breaking over the course of the month all that good stuff it's all coming right here for you in March of 2022 and that is is our look ahead at Star Wars storytelling for this month, and that's it for the podcast as well. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them all original content is copyright 2021 by star wars 7x7 we hope you love it